Well, good morning, everyone. Take your Bible to Ephesians 3.12 for promise number 219. Ephesians 3.12, promise 219. But before we jump into the promise, I want to invite you to the Journey Baptist Church this Sunday morning at 10.15 a.m. for morning worship. We're uh, wrapping up a study called Inspired to Walk by Faith. And so far, we have been truly inspired by these individual lives and these individual lives that represent things that can also happen for us if we'll just simply obey the Lord and walk in his ways. And so come and be encouraged uh, to walk by faith, be inspired. And so that's this Sunday morning at 10, 15 a.m. We know that you'll be encouraged. I hope to see you. Promise number 219 found in Ephesians 3, 12. Here's the promise. Uh, Through faith in Christ, we can boldly approach God with confidence. That's a promise. Through faith in Christ, we can boldly approach him with confidence. Uh, Ephesians 3.12 says this, it says, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. And so we have this access. And really, just like yesterday, we were reminded that we are completely known by God. Today, we are encouraged by our access to him that fuels our lives, uh, enjoying boldness because we genuinely trust the goodness of God by faith. And so uh, people that are keeping God somewhat at arm's length while they are busy building kingdoms in this world or chasing dreams, they don't always get to understand what it means to have a close and thriving relationship with God, uh, the kind of joy that comes in that cannot be removed by circumstances. Uh, yes, there's disappointments. Yes, there's pain and suffering in, our, in the life of a genuine follower of the Lord. But we also know that each of those things serve a purpose. And so they're not, they're not, they're not the, the things that derail our lives. They may direct our lives differently, but they don't derail them. This is, this is, is it something, listen, we can throw together on the off chance that we have time for God this Sunday. Uh, this is something that we do regularly. This is a totally devoted way of living uh, for God that believes he is not only good to us, but good for us. And see, that's the difference. Uh, most people think, oh yeah, God will be good to us. But but did you know that that large quantities of God is good for us? It's one of those few things that we can consume as much as we want to. And it's never overindulging. It's never, never turns into bad for us that we are walking with God so closely. You see, most people who claim to believe don't live like they believe that God and his plans are actually best for us. Uh, we tend to, to pursue anything but the plans and purposes of God, only making an appearance when we have time. Oh, I wish people wouldn't just simply try to squeeze God in here and there if they don't have something better going on or something more important to them. Listen, that's not devotion. That's not confidence. That's not worship. Uh, that's not a bold approach. Listen, we have boldness and access with confidence to him. Yet many people don't even bother to use it. We have this. We need uh, to consider what a devoted life really looks like according to God's word and live it out. Imagine having tremendous access to the one we claim to love, but never really utilizing it. Imagine now having access to God, the God of the universe, the one that saved us and taking full advantage of it. Now that would be rare. That's not normal American Christian culture to take full advantage of our connection to God. I think we are more, more likely to take as little advantage of it as possible because it might interfere with all the other things we love to do and would rather do. But God is so special that we should long to be with him as often as possible. I regret, over, looking over my life, I regret that I didn't spend more time in prayer. I regret that I hurried through devotions. I regret uh, that, that I didn't spend more time with him. And I only have so much time to try to maximize what is left of, to get of God uh, before I meet him face to face. And I want to encourage you, don't wait until you're at the latter stage of your life to get serious about him. Get serious about him today. It may require tremendous sacrifice. It may require you to get your joy from something totally different. And I know that's scary, but it's worth it. You have 
total access. You can boldly come before God with confidence by living out genuine, authentic faith. Have a great day.